Lainey Pope with an eye on the sky for the next few hours. <laughs> Yeah, we've definitely had the gray skies out there today for sure, and that helped keep the temperatures down across the area. Even a little bit of passing rain from time to time. Get used to that because we're going to keep the temperatures down below normal just a little bit. Now, you remember just a couple of months ago when we were at the beginning of COVID-19, I showcased a program called Elder Outreach, which was through, through Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center's Stitch Center, and we asked for donations to help this program. Well, we're definitely in need of donations again. My son and I were out there doing some delivering today, and here are some of the volunteers and you can also see uh, a lady and her son there in this automobile helping to deliver those meals to our senior citizens that are in need in our community. They're at high risk for COVID-19. So going to the grocery store, not something that they can easily do. So you see them packaging up not only healthy meals, but really healthy meals, right? Lots of vegetables and fruits. If you would like to help out, I've got information on my Facebook page at loveoutloudwinstonsalem.com. That's how you can volunteer. So we encourage you to do something like that. I'll tell you what, it definitely made a really great day for us. It puts a smile on your face to see all of those folks in our community. When we got great skies like this, we need smiles, right? We have overcast conditions. We have wet weather out there and we've kind of got waves of showers that have been pushing through. So you see some of the rain lifting northward into Surrey County, Yadkin County. There's also been a little lightning with this too. Now these are weakening as they're moving into the mountains. So you see just a little bit of lightning just north of Stewart. Also seeing some heavier rains that are sort of raining out in places like Galax, Sparta, and Ennis, and we're looking at some showers that still continue a little farther to the south in northern Wilkes County, also over Surrey County, and southward into Yakin County. With the clouds and the rain, the temperatures down in the 70s right now, mid to upper 70s in most communities, but we've also got dew points that are in the 70s, so really uncomfortable, humid air out there. Our high this afternoon, before we really got thick, thick clouds made it up to 86 degrees at PTI Airport, but those numbers are about 5 to 10 degrees below where we were this time yesterday. And the dew point climbing into the low to even mid 70s. So that's the kind of air you're going to find in New Orleans. That's the kind of air you're going to find in Charleston. That is tropical air for sure. And that's why we do have chances for rain in the forecast over the next several days. It will come in waves and it's not going to be a total washout, but expecting a few showers to carry us through the overnight. Don't anticipate anything really rough or severe tonight and into the day tomorrow. I think most of the rain is actually going to be across central and eastern North Carolina. So if you're in the mountains and foothills, maybe a lower rain chance. I'm going to go with about 50% coverage across the triad and that is especially lunchtime into afternoon with temperatures again below normal at about 84 tomorrow afternoon. Foothills, about a 40% chance for a few showers out there. Maybe I isolated thunder, mainly cloudy skies with a high in the low 80s. In the mountains, our temperatures are in the upper 70s tomorrow. Also, less of a chance of rain, I think, as we move closer to the mountains. But we do keep rain chances in the forecast for the next several days. Remember this area of low pressure we were talking about? This is the one that is going to track over the Carolinas. It's got a farther west track as opposed to north now, which means a lot of the rain may stay to our south and to our east. So I've brought some rain chances down just a bit. It, but this is also the weather system that could become a tropical system as it moves along our coast and gets out over the open water. So we're watching that. And if it does become a tropical storm, it could become Fay. But by then, it will be moving away from us. Here's our seven-day forecast. We bring the temperatures back up into the weekend. And we also bring the rain chances down just a bit.